I have it up on a, uh, a ramp, but I'm also kind of on a hill. So once I disconnect the drive shaft, there should be, there could be some wiggle room. I'm going to have the e-brake on so the back wheels shouldn't roll. I have the front and back of both front wheel chocked. It's kind of my safety features. Um, and I, I said I will have the e-brake on because it's better to be safe than squished. E-brake. On. Now there should be no wiggle in the car. And in the event there is some wiggle, we have it chalked. Now you can note there's a whole ton of oil that's been tossed around off this from it spinning, meaning that this is leaking right back here. I have a size 12, 12 point socket on this, and that should be all I need to remove this. That is four. And there goes the drive shaft. Now, I gotta find, figure out whatever size that is. It's a pretty big one. Flood light's pretty hot. It's uh, pretty good. We'll be right back with a set of relatively large impact sockets breaker bar hooked up to it it is a one and one sixteenths I had a one inch and a one and a quarter I go buy socket uh, in between that sizes one and one and a quarter to find the correct one it is one oh one sixteenth I made a mark on the socket and on the nut and on the face of the uh, uh, this yoke or whatever it's called and I'm gonna count out how many turns it it was and put it back on at the same spot same number of turns. Breaker bar. I hooked up a gear puller. I just want to slowly press this off. And you should be able to see it do so as I crank it. Sorts of wiggle room in there now. I almost think I can pull it off with my hand now. Yep. There she's off. <clears throat> So I got this thing up. So uh, I pounded on a little bit with a hammer and this uh, pry bar, and I'm still working my way around it to get it out. Um, the seal that I got matched part number, you know, engine size, all that. It doesn't look the exact same, but I put it on the front of this thing, and it appears to fit right on, no problem. So, I'm going to try it. Oh. I will save this old one because it will have a part number. If I need to change it again, it will be a pain in the arse, but not undoable. And I'll be have all the tools, so I won't have to stop halfway to go get sockets. It should go a lot quicker if I do it again. If it totally didn't fit, 
and didn't because I matched I got the right part via like engine size if it didn't fit on the front of that and look like it was going to fit on this I wouldn't even try I had to go back and maybe research but it looks like this is going to work so I'm going to keep trying larger pry bar I said I'm doing all this one on here it's a little bit harder hold one There's your one. There you go. There's a new one. <laughs> Clean this off a little bit. Just more pound it in. And uh, these aren't that hard to put in. You just gotta kind of line them up, tap them in. Have here's a new. Okay, hopefully y'all could have saw that, but that is pounded on with the new um, seal, and uh, the key is to just not force it, tap it very gently until it gets going, then you can use the board to uh, seat it properly, pound on that pretty hard to get it all the way down, not hard enough to bend it, again, kind of ease it down as you do it. Put this thing back where it was. I lined up. It's not quite lined up, if you can see. The original line was right there. Man. Now, this big nut. Pause this. All right, that's back to what it was. 17 turns down towards the end. It got pretty difficult, and I had to use the breaker bar. Uh, so hopefully that's exactly set how it needs to be. If you look at this, it all kind of looks like it's fitting. So next thing is to do is put the uh, drive shaft back on. I'm gonna get some lock tight for those nuts. So.
I got two of them in. Third one. Make sure you can see that. Like I said, I got Loctite on them. These are just going finger tight getting started. I'm going to crank them down. star pattern every other type of tighten down hand tight well a little bit more hand tight really crank them once with the loctite these shouldn't come out you don't want to be the uh, that's usually about as good as it needs to be. I'm sure it has a specific rating, but quite tight usually works. And lastly, I want to put about a quarter differential fluid in. I should actually check to get the exact reading, but I ain't gonna have to just put a until it almost starts leaking at me. Alright, this is the uh, drain cock. It's got a film of like metallic particles on it. And this is the hole